Hi, I'm Donna with Zopax, and today I want to show you how to wrap bar soap using our overwrapping machines. I'm going to show you on several different bars of soap, the different characteristics and how to deal with those when you're wrapping. Today we're wrapping with the PXC12, and I have this machine outfitted with the optional accessory bar, and on that accessory bar I have our optional cutter. Um, so we're going to start with this roll. And if you look at this roll, this is a harder bar of soap. It's got some rounded edges. It's a little more of a machined kind of a quality to it. Let's go ahead and wrap that. We're going to wrap this like we would anything else. We're going to have a little bit of overlap. We're going to center this on the piece of film. We're going to do the fold over. We're going to tap and roll. And then on the sides, we're going to fold that over and tap and roll. Now, because of these rounded edges, we have these kind of strange little sections of film. To deal with that, we're just going to roll that right up against the heat, and then it'll hug nice and tight to the bar of soap. Let's do the other side. So when we're doing the ends, we're pressing in with our index fingers like so. That gives us these two flaps. We're gonna fold one of those flaps away Actually, I'm going to fold both of them away and tap to keep this section still. And now I'm going to fold that up. I'm going to tap and kind of roll. I'm going to tap and roll. I'm always hitting this edge first. And again, I need to deal with these corners. So we're just going to roll those across. And that'll take care of all that excess. Now you can see it hugs real close and tight to the bar of soap. Let's move on. Next, we're going to do uh, this bar of soap. Now, this bar of soap is much different than the first one. This one's a little more organically shaped. It's a much softer bar of soap. It's got a little bit of irregular edges. They aren't perfect right angles. And this isn't going to be a problem. Let's see if we can use the wrap and the size it is. I'm actually going to trim a little bit off of this wrap. I've got the cutter here since I'm wrapping several items. I can adjust the width of my roll. If this was the only bar of soap that I wrapped, on a regular basis, I might get a custom roll, but having the cutter allows us to make adjustments as we go. So I'm just taking a little bit off of here. So back to the bar of soap. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna center it so I have basically the same amount of space on either side. I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna slide my fingers out of the way. I'm gonna tap down here and roll that up. And then when we're doing the sides, we're going to do it the same way. We're going to use our index fingers and push through to those two flaps. Then I'm just going to quickly tap this. I'm going to tap the back and then fold it over. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just fold that over and then press. Nice and tight. Now when you're working with a soft soap, it's very nice to have control over the heat. If you were shrink wrapping this bar of soap, you would be exposing this to high levels of heat. The entire bar it may actually melt. I'm real quick against this. So again, we're going to use our index fingers. We're going to tap and roll that up. And then we're going to pull that flap down and just tap and roll again. Now there's a couple little irregular edges that I can kind of go through and smooth that out. And again, it's a custom wrap for an irregular shaped bar. Let's keep going. Our next bar is also a softer soap. What's interesting about this bar is I have some dimensional designs on the top of this bar, and then the sides kind of tilt in, so I have an angled edge on that. That's not a problem. Let's see how we're doing with the size of our bar with our wrap. And I'll probably take a little bit more off for this soap. So again, I'm just going to adjust my cutter. We'll slide that over. Let me set that aside. And I'll fold this out of the way, and then I'll come back. That looks good to me. So we're doing the same process. We're going to center this on the film. We're going to have a little bit of overlap so that we can fold that over. And then once I fold it over, I'm moving my fingers out of the way. We're going to tap and press. That removes it from the roll. And now that I'm doing these angled sides, we're going to use the same process. I'm going to press my index fingers in on these. And then when I move my flaps out of the way, I can still do the same thing where I'm pressing the end 
And then I'll fold this up. I'm going to tap and press. And then this other side, I'm just going to press down. So you see that's real custom and snug against that. Let's do the other side. So again, even though I've got this angle, when I press this down, the flaps end up being a little bit different shape and that's not a problem. So we're just going to smooth that out so it folds back nice and neat. I'm going to tap that edge. I'm going to take my first flap, I'm going to roll that up, tap and roll. And with this last one, I'm going to tap and roll. Look how nice and custom that looks. Hugs against the dimensional area, follows all the folds. Let's keep going. This next bar is interesting. This is a soft bar of soap. Um, it's not quite square again. It's much thicker. It's got some irregular details to it. And that's not going to be a problem for the same reasons. I am going to, once again, adjust my roll. And you can see I'm just eyeballing this. Again, I could get a custom roll if this was the only size I was wrapping, but having the cutter and the accessory bar really does help you with your versatility on the machine. So putting the bar of soap in the center with an overlap that's about the same as the depth of the bar, I'm going to fold that over and move my fingers out of the way, just like with everything. We're going to tap and then roll up. And then on the ends, we're going to follow the same sequence. We're going to put our index fingers in to create those flaps, move those flaps out of the way. We're going to tap it once just to flatten that out. And then we're going to move that one up, fold it down like so. And then on this end, again, the same protocol. And don't worry that it's curling up a little bit. As soon as we tap it to the heat, that'll calm down. We're going to tap and roll. And the same thing here, we're going to tap and roll. So even on a bar like this, look how nice and smooth and tight that is. So next we're going to use this bar of soap. What's unique about this bar of soap is that it's actually curved. It's got this arc and it's got rounded edges, not just a rounded corner like that first bar. And this isn't going to be a problem either. Let me show you how to deal with this. Looks like I can use the same width of material here. So we don't need to adjust the cutter. We are going to do the same style of wrapping. We're going to center the bar of soap on the film. We're going to fold over the film and move our fingers out of the way, just like we've been doing. And then we're going to just tap and smooth that against the bar. Now, don't be concerned about these gaps. It's going to feel a little bit strange as you're wrapping, but we're going to deal with that. So let's start by pressing our index fingers in on the ends and we can touch the side of the bar, pull that flap up, and then push this flap down. And again, we're just gonna roll that. There's not really a tap and roll. The whole thing is a roll. And you can see we've got some strange gapping here. We're gonna ignore that for now, and we're gonna just move on to the other side. Again, we're gonna use our index fingers. There's a little bit of an overlap on the back, and that's fine. We're gonna touch that. We're going to take the top, the bottom flap and roll that up and we'll just roll that against the heat and then the top we'll do the same thing. We'll just fold that over and roll against the heat. Now to deal with these curved edges, just like we did on that first bar, we're going to roll this against the heat all the way around. And as we're doing that, it's smoothing right up against the bar of soap really making that a nice tight fit. And we don't have to use a shrink wrap to do that because the shrink wrap, of course, would heat the entire bar and potentially melt it. And you can even roll this bottom curve against the heat if you wanted to. Look how nice and clean and tight that hugs against even this irregular bar of soap. As you can see, this machine does a beautiful job wrapping different soaps. This is the PXC12. The PX12 would do a beautiful job as well. You can get everything you see here at our website at zopax.com, and you can watch more videos at YouTube. Just search Zopax. Thanks.